everybody. This is Alemi again from Yeo Botanica. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Definitely share it with friends. And if you have any comments, please, questions, anything, please let us know. I may forget to say this at the end, so I always like to say it at the beginning. Uh, this video is on the seven African powers. In Spanish, they say siete potencia. Um, and so I wanted to kind of do a little spiel on them because I always feel like it's a little difficult to find information about the seven African powers. They are one or two really good videos out there um, and maybe even uh, information in general, but I just kind of wanted to put my take on it because our customers come in purchasing quite a few items for the seven African powers and really wanting to kind of delve into that a little bit. So uh, this is my seven African power statue. Uh, he comes as a man with seven children, comes also as a lady that looks like a mama, like a madama, and she has little children also around and also comes as Indian and has seven little Indians around. And fourthly, I've seen it also as the man, because I have that one, with the man and drums that he's playing in front also. But today we're using this guy, and he, he lives here in the Botanica. A lot of times people have the seven different color um, beads that they will wear or use. Also, sometimes we have bracelets with the seven different colors. Sometimes you'll see a multicolor, just random different colors. People like to use that also for either the ancestors, seven African powers, the Orisha Osain, and so on. Um, we're going to do a little offering slash request because uh, we love to make requests and love to, to have breakthroughs. Seven African powers I like to also use in my experience for luck, breakthroughs, new things, new job, new apartment, new situations that really bring goodness into our life. Uh, once in a while, people have told me that they've used um, them for love work, but traditionally that has not been my experience to see the biggest breakthrough. Uh, sometimes you will find they have candles for the seven African powers, but they have saints, Catholic saints going around. We carry the ones with the Orisha, the Yoruba deities. Uh, you can also use just a plain seven color candle. And those are, can be used for the ancestors also, which we'll get into a little bit in another video. We have a cologne, seven African powers. You can also use Florida water, a spiritual bath that's made for them, uh, Kananga water, which I love, really love mixing them together. Interesting that they have a similar color. Uh, tobacco water, love to use that too. Here's a statue that is made for the seven African powers, and this has the seven different Orisha that are also on this candle. So that's really, really nice to use. Um, just as a quick statement, the seven African powers are really not deities. They really represent the seven main uh, groups of people that were brought from Africa during the Middle Passage, during slavery, um, being the Yoruba, the Congo, the Takwa, the Kisi, the people um, that they call them Kalabari from Calabar, um, the Arara people, and the Mandika people. And so this just really represents different groups of people versus a different deity. And so um, what I've learned is that uh, many of these different tribes, when the people passed away, they became spirit guides of many people. And so that's kind of how it really started coming to be, but not particularly guides of ancestry, but a spirit guide that is of light that, that was walking with people. And so they started to venerate the seven African powers that way. And it just kept morphing into more and more and more. So however it is that you look at them and you come to them, they're there to help you, they're there to, to guide you, um, and there to give some good luck. So red 
even though seven different colors notice he's got red on red candle this talisman bag is um, for the seven African powers has little tools inside which tools are about really making things happen in our life um, working being productive you can prepare this bag you can hang it with with your statue or put it where you have your picture uh, things like that we have an oil a uh, little candle the red roses and red carnations are really, really great offerings. So many times people will put down seven different types of liquors or seven different kinds of colognes. They'll put seven different individual red roses or carnations. You can also take the petals off, which I personally like to do, and put it in a cologne and wear it because that really kind of brings forth that energy. So we've got here a satin, um, scarf and some people wear it when they're going to do their work really to, to just kind of kick it in but you can also put it around your statue if you choose to um some people put it on their statue as they would to themselves for today i'm going to be putting it on this plate because we're gonna i love making requests I love making breakthroughs, seeing how that works in our life, um, because Spirit is here to help us and to guide us. So we've got our candle. We've got our red wine, because that's a great, great, wonderful offering for the seven African powers. Of course, I couldn't do that without just spilling a little bit, right? not going to taste it in this video but you're more than welcome to taste a little bit talk whatever it is you want to put some in your bath add some to your spiritual water with your flowers really just kick it in we have our uh, paper here i've got a pen let's say that the person is looking for a new apartment they're looking for a new place to live looking to move out from where they are feel a little stuck Let's use that as an example. So we're gonna write my name here, whatever. I always like to tell people don't write more than three things. To ask for too much is to ask for too much. Keep it simple. Now I'm rolling it towards myself, really talking about what I want, what my request is. Please help me with this. If it's something that is in a very short period of time, and you feel really under duress that you need to get your results quickly, um, then I would suggest that you do maybe some quick, quick oil and things like that uh, to really make it come to pass for you um, a little bit faster. And adding things, you could even add um, high John oil, which is a little different to make things happen a little faster. I'm going to see if I can tie this really quickly for the video's purposes. And knot it. And then I'm going to put it. Where's my cigar? Oh, here we are. Going to like to use a little bit of smoke for people who that's not their thing, then don't do it. <laughs> Only use incense. And I've got some incense here, which, you know, we're just using a little bit of stick incense. It's been burning over here for a while, but you can keep it really right by your work. For the purposes of the video, I'm not going to keep it right by the work. And then I'm going to put some smoke. Oh boy. Let's see if we get a little bit more. I smoked already. There we go. I just smoked that request. Put it out in the atmosphere, right? That's a part of the, the purpose of the smoke, to put it out in the atmosphere. I'm here today to make my request. I'm requesting this for 
one of my godchildren who need to find a place to live and to have clarity about where that is. Light that candle. Really start to fire it up a little bit. I'm going to take my oil, my 7 African Powers oil. I put some on the candle already, but we're going to put a little bit more. Then I'm going to put some here. And you can also put it on the, the parchment before you write your request, but I like to really add it at the end. And if you're a person that you're, you know, you've said, oh, I'm going to wear this until whatever I want comes to pass, then, you know, you can also anoint it with some of that. And you can also put it in your bath. Again, make your request. And here we go. And over time, it will just get absorbed down into the wine. We can also cover that. Where you don't see it whatsoever, which I love. And um, what I like to do for a few minutes is I like to give light to what I'm doing. So you can leave this for a little while. You can go take a bath. You can do one or two things. I would not let this go all the way down because this is alcohol. So maybe get it to come down closer or you can um, add a little bit of water. Please remember not to blow your candle out, but to let it go down on its own or out it um, without blowing it out. So good luck to you with the seven African powers. Hope today was helpful, that you got some, got some good remedies, breakthroughs, good luck, and everything else. And seven African powers, of course, are really, really, really germane to people who connect with traditional African practices. So good luck to you. Give us a thumbs up. See you again on the next video. Again, this is Alemi from Yeo Botanica. Thank you.